Hey nerds, I'm Chris, and I'm here to help you get beautiful recordings. In this video, we're gonna look at sample rate conversion and how much of a detrimental effect it'll have on sound quality when you convert a digital audio file from one sample rate to another. So you might be recording a project at whatever sample rate, and you might be working with people remotely who are sending you files, and maybe they recorded at a different sample rate, and you have to convert their files to the sample rate that you're working with. So we're gonna look into how much of an effect that sample rate conversion has on the sound quality. So for this experiment, I recorded an acoustic guitar with the original recording at 96 kilohertz. And then I took that clip and I converted it to 44.1 kilohertz, converted that to 48 kilohertz, converted that to 88.2 kilohertz, and converted that to 96 kilohertz. And then back to 44.1, to 48, to 88.2, to 96. I went through that sequence a hundred times. So the audio actually went through the conversion process 400 times. Actually, it was like 404. To really exact exaggerate the effects. And you might be thinking, well, how on earth is that practical? Like, when would you ever need to convert an audio file 400 times? And the answer is you wouldn't. You wouldn't have to convert it 400 times. But if I only went through the conversion process one or two times, then the results wouldn't be significant because it wouldn't have generated enough noise to be noticeable. So I went through the conversion process hundreds of times, and that would at least give us an idea of how much sound degradation there would be from just one or two conversions. I did it in this sequence so that I was careful to never be doubling or halving the sample rate because I wanted to shake it up and do this in a way that it would cause as much degradation as possible. And I don't want to be just going back and forth from doubling it, having it, doubling it, having it, doubling, you know, that might not induce as many artifacts or as much signal degradation. So I structured the experiment in a way to try and complicate the equation a little bit more. So let's take a listen to the audio that was recorded and let's see how it sounds. And then we're going to take a close look at whatever noise is there. All right, so I have the session open here. Let's take a look. This top blue region is the original recorded file. Let's give it a listen here. So this bottom one here has gone through one round of being converted through all the different sample rates. So it's been converted four times. Let's give it a listen. All right, I've done some detailed comparisons of those two and I couldn't hear any audible difference at all. So we're just gonna move on. I'm not gonna dwell on that. So let's give a listen to the one that's gone through the conversion process over 400 times. But to refresh our ears, first I'm going to play the original file, and then I'm going to play the one that's gone through the conversion. All right, again, I've done some detailed analysis and comparing these two, I honestly couldn't hear any difference between the two. But is there actually a difference, but it's just so small we can't hear it? Let's take a look at that. We're gonna do what's called a null test. Uh, I've inverted the polarity of the second one and I'm gonna play them both together. The only thing we're gonna hear is any noise that was induced from going through the sample rate conversion over 400 times. All right, I don't know about you, but I honestly, I didn't hear anything. So I think it's safe to say that no noise is incurred. Let's push the envelope a little bit. Let's add some gain to this. Let's see if maybe there is some noise. It's just so low we can't hear it. I'm gonna instantiate this gain plugin. This has given us 24 decibels of gain. Now let's give it a listen. I could just barely, really faintly hear a tiny little bit of noise there with 24 decibels of gain. That's a lot of gain. And there's still almost no noise. But let's push it a little farther. Let's add some more gain. Let's add another 24 decibels of gain. So now we've got 48 decibels of gain. This is an insane amount of gain, by the way. You would never put this on a normal volume source. It would just distort like crazy.
There we go. Now I can hear a little bit. It's still quite faint, but with 48 decibels of gain, I can hear a little bit of noise. So in conclusion, I'd say that the noise level created from going through the sample rate conversion process in a real life project where you're just going once, extremely rarely, you might have to convert a file twice. But the noise is just so extremely low, I think it's safe to say that there's really none at all from any practical standpoint. If you like this video, you might like my other video where I do comparisons of analog to digital conversion, and it goes through the conversion process hundreds of times, similar to what I did in this video. Also, if you need help to improve your home recordings, you can check out my Facebook group. It's called Get Beautiful Recordings. Link is in the description, and I'm there to personally answer any of your questions and help you get the most from your home recordings. So check out that Facebook group, Get Beautiful Recordings. And also, if you like this type of content, hit subscribe to this channel. Subscribe, it's right down there, and I'll see you in the next video.